Hi everyone, today we're looking at Think Rolls by Avakiddo. It's $2.99 to download from the Apple App Store and is also available from Google Play and Amazon. Let's have a look. There are six unlocked characters or Think Rolls to choose from. I'll choose this robot. There are seven chapters in the game where kids can experiment with friction, buoyancy, gravity, elasticity, heat, and speed. The main goal of Chapter 1 is to get used to navigating mazes and to either clear the obstacles or use them to help you reach the end. To move your character, just tap on it and drag in the direction you want to go. Collect the bubbles to unlock the think roll you're chasing. If you make a mistake, just tap the arrow in the top right corner and it takes you back one step. And now you can continue. You've reached the end of the level. Now you find out if you've collected enough bubbles to unlock the think roll. To continue, you can choose either the one you've been using or the one you've just unlocked. Let's have a look at the gameplay in the other chapters. In Chapter 2, you use the crates to reach places that you can't get to on your own. In Chapter 3, you burst balloons on the spikes to clear the way. In Chapter 4, you get to play with gravity as you drop the boulders to break through the cracked ground. In Chapter 5, bounce your think roll out of valleys by launching them off the jellies. In Chapter 6, put out the fires with the ice blocks. And in Chapter 7, you put everything you've learned together to get to the elevators so you can make your way through the maze. The App Store suggests this app is good for kids 5 and under. However, it actually has two difficulty settings. Easy Mode is for ages 3 to 5, and Hard Mode is for ages 5 to 8. Since the game allows you to create up to six profiles by using the parent controls, you could actually have a younger and older child using the same game app. Now to sum it all up, how does this app rate? For fun, I'm giving this a 5 out of 5 because there's lots to do. There are seven chapters and a total of 180 levels that kids can explore at their own pace. For learning, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 because kids can practice their problem-solving skills, reasoning, spatial cognition, logic, and memory. For ease of use, I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 because it might take a couple of tries before the kids can work it on their own. However, after they learn how to use it, it's straightforward. All in all, this is a fantastic educational app, and I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 for overall quality. Thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, please give it a like. Remember to subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page, because we'll have more app reviews coming up.